In this video, I want to introduce you to the capital asset pricing model, which is often called CAPM for short. So CAPM is a formula that's used to calculate the expected return of a security given its level of systematic risk. So here's our formula, and the expected return of a security, so let's say security I, so we've got R sub I, so the return of security I is equal to the risk-free rate of return, that's the rate of return you would earn on an investment that has zero risk. For example, you might say a three-month U.S. Treasury bill. Let's say the rate of return on that was 1.25%. Then that would be your risk-free rate. And then you add to that the beta of security I. So I've got beta sub I. So the beta is a measure of the systematic risk of this security. Okay, basically, how much does this? How much is this security? How, the value of that security, how much is that tied to the overall market performance? Okay, so we've got this measure of systematic risk beta, and then we multiply that by this whole thing right here, which is the market risk premium. The market risk premium is the expected return of the market. Okay, so let's say our market portfolio is the S&P 500. The expected return of the market minus the risk-free rate. Okay, so when we take the, the market return, the expected market return, minus the uh, risk-free rate, that's the market risk premium. Okay, so when we take the market risk premium, we multiply it by the beta of that security, and then we add the risk-free rate, that's going to tell us the expected return of security I. So this whole thing is the capital asset pricing model, and I'm just laying out the, the different components. By the way, so you'll sometimes hear, when somebody's talking about a stock, if someone's talking about the stock in, in Microsoft or Caterpillar or some company, you might hear them talk about the cost of equity capital. And that is the same as this thing right here. So this expected return of security I, that, that this return is basically the return that investors expect to receive given the level of risk that they are bearing. How much risk are they bearing? Well, that's what beta tells us. And so when we say, what is the cost of equity capital for you know, Caterpillar shareholders, and we're thinking about stock in Caterpillar, let's say it was 9.21%. That's what it's telling us right here. That's the expected return in Caterpillar stock that, that someone would be expecting. And so we'd say that's the cost of, of equity capital. Now, I'm going to make some more videos on CAPM, but one thing I really want you to note is that at, at what an implication here of the capital asset pricing model is that the more systematic risk that the security has, going to be the higher return that the investors are expecting. So here's our measure of systematic risk, that's beta. If beta, let's say that beta was 1.25. So if beta was 1.25, and then we were to increase it where we said, you know what, instead of it being 1.25, it's 2.5, or it's uh, let's say it's, it's 3, 3.0. So the higher we make this beta, the higher is going to be the expected return of the security. And if you think about it, that makes sense. If you are an investor and I tell you, look, it's actually this investment is riskier. It's instead of uh, the risk being 1.25, it's three or it's four or something like that. The more risky the security is, which is measured here by beta, the more risky the security is, the higher the return you are going to want to receive because you are wanting as an investor to be compensated for bearing that risk. And here with the capital asset pricing model, we're assuming just that there's a single factor. People later went and, and added additional factors and said it's actually more. And we'll, we'll talk about multi-factor models in, in the future. But for right now, this is a single factor model. We're really just looking, looking at this market risk premium times the, the amount of systematic risk and then we add that to the risk-free rate, and that is telling us the return that the investors in that security expect to receive given these factors. 